Imagine this. A telescope spots a speck of light against the blackness of space. At first glance, it seems insignificant. Just another dot in the vast expanse of the universe. It's faint at first, a distant traveller on a cosmic highway. This tiny speck, barely noticeable, is on a journey that spans millions of miles. But as days turn into weeks, that speck grows larger, brighter. It becomes clear that this is no ordinary celestial body. It's an asteroid, and it's heading our way. Scientists track its trajectory, their faces etched with worry. They run simulations, double-check their calculations, and the results are alarming. The numbers don't lie. This celestial interloper, a massive asteroid, is on a collision course with Earth. The potential for devastation is immense. The news sends shockwaves across the globe. Media outlets broadcast the impending threat, and the world watches in stunned silence. People look to the skies, a mix of fear and awe in their eyes. The realization that our planet is vulnerable to such cosmic events is both humbling and terrifying. The clock is ticking. Our planet, teeming with life, faces a threat unlike any other. Every second counts as we race against time to find a solution. The possibility of a catastrophic impact looms large, a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the vast cosmic arena. The potential for loss of life and environmental destruction is staggering. We are reminded of the dinosaurs, wiped out by a similar cosmic event millions of years ago. Their extinction serves as a grim warning of what could happen to us. Will we suffer the same fate? Or can we harness our ingenuity, our scientific prowess, to avert disaster and safeguard our future? Scientists and engineers around the world are working tirelessly, brainstorming innovative solutions. The answer, my friends, lies in our willingness to explore bold solutions, to push the boundaries of what's possible. From launching rockets to developing new technologies, the efforts are monumental. The survival of our species, our planet, may depend on it. It is a collective effort, requiring the cooperation and determination of people from all walks of life. Together we can face this challenge and emerge stronger. Fear can paralyze, but it can also inspire. Throughout history, humanity has faced countless challenges, each one seemingly insurmountable. Yet time and again, we have risen to the occasion, driven by a blend of fear and hope. Faced with the asteroid threat, humanity rose to the challenge. The looming danger of a potential asteroid impact united people from all walks of life, from scientists and engineers to everyday citizens, all working together with a singular purpose. Scientists and engineers worked tirelessly, developing innovative technologies to protect our planet. They poured over data, ran countless simulations, and pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. Their dedication and ingenuity were the driving forces behind the mission. From this collective effort, DART was born. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, was not just another space mission. It was a testament to human determination and creativity. Every component, every system was meticulously designed and tested. DART, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, was a mission of unprecedented daring. It aimed to achieve what had never been done before, to intentionally collide a spacecraft with an asteroid and alter its trajectory. This mission was a bold statement of our capabilities. Its goal, to slam a spacecraft into an asteroid, altering its trajectory and proving that we could, in fact, nudge these celestial wanderers off a collision course. The mission was a high stakes gamble, but the potential rewards were immense. In the fall of 2022, DART hit its target, the small moonlet Dimorphos, orbiting the larger asteroid Didymos. The impact was a precise and calculated maneuver, the result of years of planning and hard work. The impact, witnessed by telescopes around the world, was a spectacular display of human ingenuity. Observatories from different continents captured the moment, providing a global perspective on this monumental achievement. Data poured in, confirming what many had hoped. 
DART had successfully changed Dimorphos' orbit, shortening its orbital period. The meticulous analysis of this data was crucial, as it provided the evidence needed to confirm the mission's success. It was a pivotal moment, a testament to our ability to defend our planet from cosmic threats. This success marked a new era in planetary defense, showing that we have the tools and knowledge to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. For the first time in human history, we had demonstrated the ability to alter the course of a celestial object. This achievement was not just a scientific milestone, but a profound statement about our place in the universe. DART wasn't just a technological marvel. It was a beacon of hope, a symbol of our potential to overcome even the most daunting challenges. It showed that when we come together, we can achieve the extraordinary. But our journey is far from over. The success of DART is just the beginning. It opens the door to future missions and innovations, each one bringing us closer to a safer and more secure future. The lessons learned from DART will guide us as we continue to explore and protect our place in the cosmos. DART's success was a cause for celebration, but also a call for continued vigilance. The mission demonstrated our ability to deflect smaller asteroids, a significant milestone in planetary defense. However, this achievement is just the beginning of a much larger conversation about our preparedness for cosmic threats. While the mission proved we could deflect smaller asteroids, what about the larger, city-killing behemoths lurking in the depths of space? These colossal objects, some spanning miles in diameter, pose a far greater risk. The potential devastation from such an impact could be catastrophic, wiping out entire cities or even causing global consequences. Could a gentle nudge be enough to divert these massive objects? Or would we need a more powerful solution? The physics of deflecting a larger asteroid are vastly different from those of a smaller one. The energy required to alter the course of a giant space rock is exponentially greater, raising questions about the feasibility of current methods. The reality is that time, that precious commodity, often works against us. Detecting an asteroid early enough to take action is crucial but our current detection systems have limitations. The sooner we identify a threat, the more options we have to mitigate it. However, the window of opportunity can be alarmingly short. Imagine an asteroid, not the size of a football field like Dimorphos, but miles across, hurtling towards Earth. The sheer size and speed of such an object would make it a formidable adversary. The impact would release energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs causing unprecedented destruction. A dart-like impact, while still effective, might require decades of advance notice to achieve a significant course change. The force needed to alter the trajectory of a massive asteroid is immense, and the process would be slow. This means we need to detect these threats as early as possible to have any chance of success. What if we don't have that kind of time? What if an asteroid is detected only months or even weeks before potential impact? In such scenarios, our current strategies may fall short, leaving us vulnerable to disaster. What if the threat is more immediate, more urgent? The pressure to act quickly and decisively would be immense. Scientists and engineers would need to devise a rapid response plan, balancing the need for speed with the complexities of space missions. We need a plan B, a strategy that can address a wider range of threats, including those that appear suddenly and require a more forceful response. This could involve developing new technologies or enhancing existing ones to provide a more robust defense system. This is where the conversation takes a dramatic turn, exploring innovative and sometimes controversial ideas. The stakes are high, and the solutions may require bold thinking and unprecedented collaboration, venturing into the realm of the seemingly impossible. Concepts that once belonged to the realm of science fiction are now being seriously considered. From advanced propulsion systems to space-based lasers, the possibilities are vast and varied. What if we could harness the immense power of the atom, not for destruction, but for planetary defense? The idea of using nuclear technology to deflect or destroy asteroids 
is both intriguing and controversial. It presents a powerful option, but also comes with significant risks and ethical considerations. The future of planetary defense may depend on our ability to innovate and adapt, ensuring that we are prepared for whatever the cosmos throws our way. It might sound like science fiction, but the concept is rooted in sound physics. Nuclear weapons, often associated with unimaginable devastation, could also hold the key to our survival. The key lies in understanding how a nuclear detonation interacts with matter in the vacuum of space. When a nuclear weapon detonates, it unleashes a torrent of energy, including a powerful burst of X-rays. These X-rays, when directed at an asteroid surface, can vaporize rock and metal, creating a powerful impulse that propels the asteroid in the opposite direction. Think of it like a cosmic billiard ball. A well-placed shot, a burst of X-rays can send even a massive asteroid careening off in a new direction, away from our planet. And unlike a physical impact, which relies on transferring kinetic energy, X-rays can act at a distance, providing a crucial advantage when time is of the essence. But how do we know this would actually work? Enter the Z-Machine, a marvel of engineering that allows us to recreate the extreme conditions of a nuclear explosion in a controlled laboratory setting. Located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Z-Machine is the most powerful X-ray generator on Earth. It's a marvel of modern engineering, capable of producing temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun for brief, incredibly intense bursts. Scientists have used the Z-Machine to simulate the effects of a nuclear detonation on asteroid-like materials. By bombarding these materials with intense X-ray pulses, they've been able to study the processes of vaporization and momentum transfer. The results have been encouraging Experiments have shown that X-rays can indeed vaporize significant amounts of material, creating a powerful impulse that could deflect an asteroid. The key is to deliver the X-rays in a controlled and focused manner, maximizing their effectiveness while minimizing collateral damage. The Z-Machine experiments provide valuable data, offering a glimpse into the potential of using nuclear explosions for planetary defense. But the journey from laboratory experiments to a fully deployable system is fraught with challenges, both technical and ethical.